Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Nick Rollo. I'm a producer and mixing engineer from Australia. Today, I'm going to show you how I use the SSL 4000E channel by Brainworks by Plugin Alliance. <gasps> what a mouthful of words. As kind of like a Swiss army knife. And I think the point of this video, as I'm sort of spitballing it right now, is it's really handy to have some tools that you can kind of use for anything. This is that plugin for me. For you, it might be something else. The Pro Q by Fab Filter could be that plugin. There's tons, there's tons, but this is how I use the 4000E plugin. So if you've seen any of my videos and you've seen kind of mix breakdowns, production breakdowns even, this plugin is sort of littered all over various mixes on many different channels because it's just really versatile. I like the SSL sound. It's kind of slappy and plasticky in a cool kind of way. Um, the compression's great, EQ's are dope. It's very, very CPU, not intense, um, this particular plugin of the SSL console. And what I really like about the Brainworks version is they all kind of meld together over the course of a mix. They kind of interact slightly. Um, they have different flavors. Each one has like a different sound when you kind of randomize it. And I really like that. So I have this lo-fi thing. <laughs> loosely the sound um, I haven't mixed this I kind of made it yesterday I think but there is a few instances of the SSL plugin on it but let's have a look oh this is up now I'll reset this okay this is the SSL 4000E they have a few different SSL consoles brain works but I like the E for whatever reason we have high pass low pass so Low cutoff, high cutoff, times three, so the we can go up to a thousand or to three fifty, and vice versa on the high. Uh, there's compressor with quite a lot of ratio from one to infinity, release time, threshold, some other things that I don't really touch. Uh, it's got a gate which is fairly good. Like I mean, actually no, it is great. I just don't use it. EQ we've got high, high mid, low mid low and then some input controls i'm going to turn this um expand down because i don't really use the gate uh, unless i really need it so the thing i like about the sso is i can just i mean it's kind of i guess the the culmination of using something a lot is that you learn how to use it well i guess i feel like this plugin allows me to get excitement out of sounds that i feel like i don't get as easily in other plugins Maybe it's like having a graphical EQ. You When you boost something by 10 dB, you're like, eesh, that's a lot. But in this, it's quite easy to do. <laughs> you know, if you're just messing around with a knob, it just kind of happens and you're listening rather than looking. And I feel like that's really valuable. So let's have a mess around. Um, I'll kind of show you how I use it. First off, if you do use this plugin, uh, V gain or turn it down. Otherwise, you get this. And right now, don't really want that.
we don't want that much compression. I like the sound of this now. So don't change things if you don't need to. If you like how they sound, doesn't need to be doesn't need to be changed. The thing I like as well about this plugin is when you click this random channel, you can either do one and then we have these different left and right channels or if you click all, all instances will just have a random channel. And it does something different. It's subtle, it's super subtle. You can't really like tell the difference very easily in my opinion, but well, at least on an individual channel level. Over the whole mix, if you've used it 30 times and you click that button, it does change something. Something tweaks and, and moves subtly. I don't really know what the point of this video was aside from like, it's a cool plugin. I really like it. I can use it on pretty much anything and I particularly love it on guitars and vocals, but you can just use it and tweak it. And I think the um, upper mid band and the high band in particular, delightful. But on kind of a more like high level, have plugins that you use really often and get to know those plugins really well because when you're mixing, when you're producing, when you're doing anything really, being out of reach for something and you have like this idea in your head and pretty much all you want to do in this kind of industry or in any creative industry is you want to minimize the time between you having an idea and you being able to execute that idea. And by having tools that you're really familiar with, you can bridge that gap faster. You definitely do want to be able to like experiment with new things because that kind of inspires creativity. But having these tools that you use a lot is, I think, critical. I think critical to this game. And there you have it. That's how I use the SSL 4000E. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. It helps me out a little bit. I'm just kidding. It helps me out a lot. If you are in need of a producer or a mixing engineer, you can hire me. My website is in the description and you can go listen to my work there. If you use Studio One, there's a bunch of free presets also linked in the description, so go check those out. There's also a little release guide that I made for artists, also free. Everything I do is for free. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you next video. Have a good one. Bye.